Hello, and welcome to College Betas. Today we will be looking at what medications I keep on hand and what they are used for. I started collecting medications in the fall after my baby Destiny got sick because I didn't know what she had and I had no way to go to a pet store and get what I needed. I found that buying off Amazon was much cheaper anyway and medications tend to last a couple years. I have links to everything here in the description box so that you can get them from Amazon. Make sure to stay tuned until the end to see how you can win a couple of these for free. First we will be looking at what I would consider to be the basics. In this group we have Epsom salt, aquarium or uniodized kosher salt, Paragard, Stress Guard, Indian Almond or Catapa leaves, and Canaplex. Epsom salt is used to help with bloating and swelling. Picking what Epsom salt to use, make sure it is 100% Epsom salt with no additives. Aquarium salt is used to keep open wounds and infections clean. Unidized kosher salt is a cheaper alternative to aquarium salt. Paragard is one of my two go-to medications. It can treat any kind of parasite, including ick, and can be given to a fish even if they do not have parasites. It is always best to only treat a fish for something they have, but Paragard can also act as a preventative, so it can be used any time. I also use Paragard with new fish and with any fish that is sick. Stress Guard is my other go-to medication because it can also be used any time and with any non-copper-based medication. It is not truly a medication, but it can help reduce stress and promote healing. I use this with every sick fish and when I move my fish between school and home. Indian almond leaves are also not technically a medication, but they are also very helpful because they release tannins and have antibacterial properties. Many beta keepers use Indian almond leaves all the time, but I only use mine when quarantining my betas. Lastly, Canaplex is used for fungal and bacterial infections such as dropsy, Popeye, fin and tail rot, and septicemia. Canaplex is very good to have on hand because dropsy is so common, and even though it is usually incurable, if it is curable, Canaplex will solve it. Next we have the other medications I keep on hand, which include Garlic Guard, Methylene Blue, Ferran 2, Sulfaplex, Ick Attack, General Cure, and Canine Dewormer. Garlic Guard is used to make medicated foods more appealing to betas, as well as make them taste better. It is kind of the same concept as flavored kids' medications, except that it tastes much better. Methylene Blue is used to prevent disease. Usually anytime you see betas in blue water at the store, such as Walmart, they are in tr water treated with methylene blue. It can also be used to prevent fungus on fry eggs. I don't usually use it because Paragard contains malachite green, which is essentially the same thing. Ferran 2 is used for bacterial diseases such as fin and tail rot, gill disease, and septicemia. It usually does the same thing as Canaplex, so there is not much use in getting both. Sulfaplex is also for fungal and bacterial infections, but also works on protozoan infestations. But again, it is not worth having if you have Canaplex or Ferran 2. Ick attack is used specifically for ick, which can also be treated by raising water temperatures and using Paragard. So again, it is not much of use if you have Paragard on hand. General cure is not actually as general as you may think. It also is used for parasites as well as hole in the head disease. Last, canine dewormer is used for internal parasites, which can also be treated by Paragard if mixed with food, but I believe it is a little stronger. I got it because I was going to use it with Destiny because I thought she may have a worm, but I never got to use it. So that is all the medications I have. Make sure to like and subscribe and join us next week for an overview of what equipment you will need to run a beta tank. But wait, there's more! Since you've made it through this video, I would like to let you know about the giveaway I'm hosting. This is my first giveaway, but hopefully there will not be any bumps along the way. If you have not guessed for this giveaway, I'm giving away three Indian almond leaves, a package of Canaplex, a package of aquarium salt, and a small bottle of Stress Guard. The giveaway will run until next Friday the 31st at midnight central time. There are a lot of ways to enter, including two entries you can get every day this week. 
I hope you will join in this giveaway as I am very excited to be doing it. A link will be down below. See you next week.